Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, in today's video, we are going to discuss uh, something known as the COT or commitment of traders. So uh, what we have done here is uh, we have the charts along with uh, COT. I'll just explain in a minute what this is. So before we get into it, uh, why are we doing it uh, over here is because uh, commitment of traders in theory it uh, seems uh, a lot easier but when you look at it in practical the numbers keep changing that is why uh, we've decided to do it in live markets so that uh, we're able to understand how we can best utilize this tool uh, having said that it is uh, never a good idea to rely solely on uh, the uh, cot high and low numbers uh, when you place a trade what do i mean by that thing when you're using order flow this is one of the uh, one of the tools uh, like we see over here which helps you understand what the flow or what which side is more aggressive and uh, it's something like delta but it is from a certain point which we'll just explain so uh, what i mean to say is uh, what is happening within a candle uh, is why you need to use it uh, of course it should help you in taking a trade or give you a confirmation but this is not the only thing you should rely on when you're taking a trade so i will just explain what i mean by that and uh, more often than not uh, what we're doing when we're discussing cot or commitment of traders is uh, when the bar closes or after maybe uh, it's not understood uh, very well in real live markets that is why i decided to do one video like this uh, because the numbers keep changing frequently just like delta but the delta uh, i will just explain in a minute uh, wouldn't change so much as much as the cot numbers and uh, so the first thing uh, that we have uh, we'll just look around what we have on the chart so this is the bank nifty futures chart what we have uh, to the left of it uh, this one is the uh, pe that is just uh, in the money okay so as i keep discussing i have uh, i generally choose in the money options and uh, this is this one is a ce option chart so uh, everything uh, the bank nifty futures chart and the ce and p option chart why have i chosen the options chart because this is where we trade so i would draw always uh, i mean uh, uh, advise you guys to trade looking at the charts you're planning to put a trade on so what do i mean by that if you're planning to play, put a trade on the field on the options chart it is always better to have uh, the options chart open so that you can understand uh, where the orders are and where you can best uh, put your stop losses and get the best risk to reward and that is why we're using order flow charts so uh, let's get into uh, again this chart just don't worry about whatever is there there is nothing funky here it's just the right side over here is just the volume uh, within this uh, candlestick is the delta and what we are actually interested in this particular video is are these two numbers that is the cot high that you're seeing here and the cot low that you're seeing over here okay and other than that these support resistance zones are nothing but imbalance zones which you have discussed if you want to know more about it you can let me know in the comment section we'll do another video if possible in a live market session again okay so uh, uh, one more thing this uh, the disclaimer uh, is again uh, that it is uh, this particular video is just for educational purposes so if you want to take a trade or uh, invest your money do consult your financial advisor we're all adults here so and we should act like uh, once okay uh, now uh, getting into it now how are these numbers being plotted so the uh, one on top is coti the one on low is cot low so unlike the name it is actually the opposite the low is you can see positive and the uh, high is negative in this particular scenario if you see both are positive we'll discuss this scenario as well so what is it uh, it is uh, if you've seen my previous videos for guys who are new i will just repeat it once and then we will see it on the chart how it looks like okay so uh, this is a five minute bar so what it does is uh, from the from every time we have a new high okay this is a cot high from the time this bar makes a new high for example this is the high from that point in time uh, it starts calculating the delta to the last traded price okay so at this point let's say the market or the particular bar opened here it went up here and uh, it came down like this so from the time it made a new high to the last traded price the delta between this these two points is the cot high so essentially what should happen uh, when the market has touched is high and is coming down there should be a negative delta and that is what is happening and that is why it is cot uh, high okay and it is negative here this case it was cot uh, high was positive uh, any guesses again it's because a lot of uh, buyers were trapped here you can see this all over here so again then this particular tool becomes very interesting and powerful if you use it 
in conjunction with the other order flow concepts that you're already uh, using just don't blindly go by this number and say buyers are trapped so i will sell it okay i will sell this particular option you might be correct one or two times but understand the situation you're looking look at the markets that what what are they doing they are in a, a range bound uh, sort of a session again uh, we have this quite commonly we are within yesterday's range if you see so there is absolutely no reason why you should expect a breakout okay and uh, so uh, I mean a break uh, down of the CE option which essentially means a breakout so you have to be careful you will take it will take your stop loss and go uh, in situations like these and markets like these like we are having right now for the last uh, let's say two days or at this particular moment what you should be worried about is or what you, you will have is enough time if it breaks out to enter into a trade because the volatility will increase as we just discussed uh, you, you can see what happened if you would have simply gone by the cot high and low numbers you would have hit your stop loss you would have taken a trade here and your stop loss would have been somewhere at the high of this candle if you're scalping that is and you, you can see what has happened so uh, and getting back into the uh, concept of cot high and low so we discussed cot high so cot low is the exact same thing if the market has opened here and it has gone like this touch this point come and made a new low and the last trade price is this so the delta between the last low the mark this bar made to the last traded price is the cot low and of course it has to be positive so see you can see what has happened if you would have shorted here based on a cot high or low this is what happens and this is what i was telling you the market is in a range bound and it is uh, in, is in a range and it was on the extreme of the other range so the likelihood of what has been happening was this what has just happened okay so uh, understand when you can uh, or how you should that that is why you should always have the whole context in mind okay now i will get one more chart to see all this even better okay so i think this uh, i discussed this chart in one of my last videos so this chart is again uh, nothing uh, too great it is just a five second chart candlestick pro pure price action along with volume profile for the five minutes so whatever you see on this order flow it is being depicted here in the form of volume profile so why have i got this chart to explain cot high and low even better okay so now if you see the cot high number it is zero why the new high that has been made by the market is this one so from this point in this five minute bar to wherever the market is right now for example uh, let me delete that uh, since the chart is moving so the high is somewhere here if you see somewhere next to 342 and to this point uh, just this much the delta between uh, this high and this last traded price is what is being depicted here so you can see uh, a, some amount of sellers coming in uh, if you look in the order flow chart uh, somewhere here so uh, this chart is for letting you know from where the cot high is being calculated it is being calculated from here and you can see the number 6120 that is why the number is much much lower or rather was lower till the time uh, uh, this popped up okay now why has this number started going down you can see this number has suddenly increased much more than this because we can see clearly a lot of selling has come in here okay now uh, if you have to go short now this is a different context to what we are having there and nevertheless you have to need a confirmation because if you look at this chart what you have likely uh, what can happen is a test of the lower range that is somewhere close to 51,000 on the futures chart okay so before we uh, decide and uh, look at a trade setup we we'll just understand now what is cot low so in this case cot low would be uh, the the last low that the bar made was this somewhere close to three on nine so the delta from this point to where the market is now is being depicted by cot low so you can see what i what do i understand by this number which is so low uh, is that by the time the bar closed all this delta was uh, negated by a lot of selling that happened here okay so this is the region where i can straight away see uh, even you guys can see uh, with the help of cot low and order flow that a lot of selling is taking place here and uh, this selling uh, the numbers are so high that it has almost uh, negated the buying that has come in from here okay that is the delta numbers but what is the market actually doing can you see that it is still going up okay so what is it doing these sellers who are uh, like we just discussed uh, thinking that the market uh, well, will uh, sorry this is a p chart so these sellers these p sellers who think that the market will go up from here 
are uh, giving in okay so all these guys they are giving in right now and uh, looking at the range bound market what it will do is it will keep doing this trapping uh, buyers uh, on one side and sellers on the other side so if you're looking at a p chart what it will do is it will trap buyers at one side okay so look at this number this high number it is tried trapped these buyers did not go up then came down flushed them out probably the small uh, algos or these i mean the retailers and then went up similarly what it is going to do is look at these numbers look at these sell numbers and it is going to again do that trap all the sellers on one side and go to the other side and keep doing the whole day i mean it has the uh, ability to do this for good two three hours okay and trap if you're a scalper or intraday trader it and if you're buying options you're just going to lose a lot okay so if you're just going by the simple price action techniques that you're going to trade and trade a breakout or breakdown not price action rather uh, simple breakout or breakdown trading if you plan to do in in a market like this it will just keep failing okay so now uh, uh in this particular bar you see uh, now let's get into the part uh, where we see how these numbers keep are so dynamic and keep changing so for example at this moment you can see uh the cot high or cot rather cot low number is very high so what what does it essentially mean that from this point uh, all the way till this if you see on this chart okay uh, i will just mark it again so from this point uh, down here and up here the number is 19.2k so this is uh, and look at the delta over here if you see the delta is uh, being plotted here 816 the delta is not much okay but it is this is giving a different picture the picture is that uh, from the lows there has been a lot of buying and what is now happening is all these buyers uh, if you see essentially on the chart are located in this portion okay uh, sorry for that the mark, the chart is uh, automatic so it moves so if you see over here the majority of these buyers in this up move are now located in this region between 342 and 346 now uh, and there is absolutely no selling that is taking place i mean there is but it is very very small look at the difference in numbers and now look at the delta so someone here has again stepped in okay this number has started going up and uh, like we just discussed it has trapped a number of buyers over here and gone into the other direction and now you can see the cot low number has gone down to zero why because the low has changed there is a new low now and from this low the calculation has restarted and you can see this 4185 that you see over here this is a new calculation that has started from uh, this low because this was a new low uh, the initial low for this five minute bar was this this is a new low and from here the calculation has started and you can see uh, at the moment uh, the delta or positive delta is over here okay so uh, this is how the cot high and low numbers are dynamic and they keep changing and uh, it becomes or rather its efficacy reduces in market uh, markets like these okay because the uh, idea is in markets like these when you see big numbers is when you plan to uh, on one side is when you understand that a lot of a chunk of traders are located on one side and not the other for example let's find a situation over here okay so you look at this bar okay these two this bar it's equal on both the sides and the market and the i mean the bar is closed right in the center there is nothing extraordinary so this particular bar if you see you had a lot of negative delta over here and most of them were associated here okay a lot of selling and uh, there was absolutely not much of buying so it was an up bar with a lot of negative uh, delta from the high so as soon as reached this high so what we can make out of it is when the market made a new high and from there suddenly the selling started stepping in and this is the place where the chunk of it was associated i'll draw it again doesn't matter this is the place and the next bar uh, obviously takes a uh, one way traffic to the other side again so there was someone aggressively selling from this point okay so you can carry this forward uh, uh, for your next trade whenever the market approaches here and expect uh, some sort of a uh, pullback or some sort of a scalp that you can take if the conditions are exactly like we just discussed that is you see some trapped uh, buyers getting uh, or buyers getting trapped here okay so uh, uh, according uh, similarly if you see in the present bar you see the numbers are very high on one side okay and uh, 
that is why the numbers at the end when the bar closes make uh, start making a lot of sense because you now understand what it started with and how it is going so as soon as the bar opened we saw some selling coming to this so you can see in this particular chart uh, the price also reacting to that selling and after that you can see these uh, sellers getting trapped so now if you use the entire concept of uh, order flow you can see uh, some amount of uh, volume getting accumulated in this zone 336 okay so now our idea is that uh, we need to see a break of these two zones so uh, what i would ideally prefer is uh, if we uh, let's say fall below this zone okay 335 340 334 uh, we can aggressively plan a short okay and the stop loss would just be uh, let's say six or seven or eight points i know for bank nifty it is less but what we have in these markets are we're just not getting anything more than 10 15 points in one direction it is again from the lows you can find them find these 20 points but then you can see how the market is behaving and it can uh, i mean if you're buying options specifically it can re be really really uh painful so you can see uh again uh look at the number over here and this is a high number and a lot of sellers have got trapped or, or rather a lot of selling has come in they've not got trapped trapped is when they when the price starts starts moving above it so uh, again like we discussed what we want is uh, this low to break okay for us to be uh, aggressive in taking an entry if it doesn't we'll see how the market plays out uh, because we've seen a lot of uh, selling uh, come here at these particular levels 342 343 uh, people who are aggressive can again uh, try and short over here but i would rather not do because we've not touched the extreme of this place okay so this is a, a midway trade it is always very dangerous to take a midway trade because we right in the center it might go up might go down so if it has to go up we have a rule that if it breaks this zone we will enter uh, the short if not we will wait and see and we we'll look for a better opportunity because we're not at the extreme of the uh, range that we have on the futures chart so uh, you can use these concepts uh, in a similar fashion and understand uh, look at the charts and uh, like we just discussed it started going down so that is why i said it's uh, absolutely no uh, reason to or rather it is very risky to start shorting here so it's always better to wait and uh, what happens is if uh, with time when you gain confidence you can put in size at the right time with the small stop loss and uh, get your uh, reward i mean what you're looking for uh, against the small risk that order flow allows you to take so uh, hopefully uh, this video was of some help to you guys and you could understand cot better uh, until next time Thank you. Bye-bye.